guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is gonna be a cook and chat with me kind of video. I've never done one of these before, but I thought that it could be super fun. I am gonna be making a home chef meal today, but I am not sponsored by them in any way. I simply just pay for the subscription myself. Um, I will have a referral link down below if you guys are curious in checking it out for yourself. But like I said, I pay for my subscription by myself. Today I'm gonna be doing the Chipotle cheddar turkey meatloaf. It's actually like two little meatloafs because I got the two serving one um, and I'm gonna take one for lunch tomorrow. So this is gonna be really good for tonight. I figured we would just kind of chat while I make everything. It's not a super long um, meal. Most of it is just simply cooking time. So I thought we could just chat. I did ask you guys to submit some questions on my Instagram. So thank you to everyone that did. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are so you can contribute to future Q&A videos. But anyway, Let's jump in to the cooking. Um, I already have my oven preheated and I have all of my supplies out and ready to go. So simply what's next is going to be preparing all of my ingredients. Sorry that there's not gonna be a great angle of this. I have you guys propped on something, but it's not seeming to work quite as nicely as I wanted, but I'm just gonna take all of my ingredients out and kind of lay them out. I always find this to be the easiest way to see everything that I need. And then I'm gonna toss all my produce into my little colander in the sink and wash it, um, AKA the poblano pepper and the potatoes. And then we'll get chopping and answering some questions. A little hack is I always keep the bag of ingredients out and kind of use it as my trash bag while I go. So I'm not constantly walking back and forth to the garbage can. So little hack for you guys if you make these kind of meals that have a lot of packaging. So I got a couple questions actually about my like short and long-term goals and where what do I see myself doing in the next year or two. And I thought that those were really good questions because I don't like, I mean, I would be lying if I said I never thought about it, but I definitely don't think about it super, super often. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I did just graduate nursing school in May of 2021. And I did just start um, my first nursing job as a registered nurse on a cardiac surgery floor. <laughs> so I'm still a new grad and will be until um, like July of next year. So um, I guess short term goals like within the next year, within the next six months is to finish up my nurse residency program, have a solid one year of experience under my belt. Um, I want to make sure that I get my VAD certification, um, which is the ventricular assist device. I want to make sure that I get that certification done within my first year, which I should be able to do it as early as January. Um, I want to make sure I get my ACLS, um, which is the advanced cardiac life support certification. Um, and I want to see if I can become a preceptor on my unit. A lot of the preceptors on my unit um, have had a minimum of one year of experience. Um, so I'm potentially going to be eligible within the next year to be a preceptor, which I think would be super fun. I really like teaching. Um, I like being able to kind of share my knowledge with other people. Um, I've actually kind of toyed around with the idea of going back for my master's in nursing education. Um, so I guess that would be more of a long-term goal is um, maybe when I go back for my NP, like for my master's to become nurse, uh, become a nurse practitioner, maybe I will try and get my master's in nursing education as well, or get like a, certi a certificate in nursing education or a concentration or however it kind of works. Um, so that's more of a long-term goal for sure. But, um, this, so those are kind of my like work as a nurse goals, but kind of for my like social media goals, I really would like to start making social media a job for me, like a real job where I earn, you know, a significant amount of money or a sufficient amount of money. Um, I do make some money off social media to be totally transparent, but definitely not enough to like support myself. It's mostly just enough to kind of like supplement 
my nursing salary, which is great because, you know, nursing is my full-time job and any supplementation of that income is great. But I would like to really kind of expand that for myself and really see what opportunities I can get with that. Um, because I think that that could be something really fun for me. It's something that I really love now. Um, and so with more financial opportunity, I think I could really grow it into something really cool. All right, I'm gonna move these potatoes over to the baking sheet. And then while I um, chop up the plebano pepper, I'll kind of finish answering that question and move on to some other ones. Some more long-term goals I have for myself. One is to definitely end up in, on a pediatric floor. Um, ideally, I would love to go to like the pediatric cardiac ICU. I think that that could be so much fun. Um, and they do have one of those in the hospital system that I already work in. So I wouldn't have to like dramatically change jobs. Like all my benefits and everything would stay the same. I would just work on a different unit. Um, so I think that that could be super fun to try. I've always wanted to be a pediatric nurse. I just didn't find the right opportunity when applying for jobs um, as a new grad. So I think with a year of cardiac experience behind my belt, that's only going to open up so many more doors for me in the pediatric world. Um, so I think that that could be really nice. Um, some personal long-term goals. I would really love to be able to afford to buy a house. Um, you know, now, especially now that I have a dog, I think having a yard would be so, so nice. And frankly, like, I just hate that every month, you know, so much of my money is going towards paying rent when I wish I could just put that towards a mortgage or something. So that's definitely a long-term goal is to kind of figure out how to afford a house even if it's just like a small house like a townhouse I you know I don't need anything bigger than that for just me and the dog but still you know um so that's kind of a long-term personal goal I don't I haven't really decided if I want to kind of stay in this Raleigh Durham area or if I want to kind of go back home towards the Philly area yet um, I don't feel like I've spent enough time here in Raleigh um, to really decide if I like it for the long term or not, but I definitely plan on staying for at least another year or two um, unless a truly amazing opportunity comes up elsewhere, which I can't really see that happening, but you never really know. I'm kind of open to anything. Um, if it's the right opportunity, I'm not really super tied down to one place. Um, so if a really good opportunity came for me to move, then I would definitely consider it for sure. And then another question I got is if I could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? And I kind of have two answers for this, um, which is kind of cheating because it asks for anywhere in the world. But if I'm looking for somewhere where it's like a true vacation, where I just want to relax and do nothing, I would love to go to like Tahiti or Fiji or some of those places that are just like so picturesque with like the clear water and like white sand beaches. I just think that that would be so, so relaxing. But if I'm looking to travel to like see things and do things i want to do like a full tour of europe you guys um i want to spend like honestly like a month in europe i want to tour all of the like major cities i want to see everything i've never been to europe i have been out of the country before but never to europe um and i would just love to like see so much of europe all in one shot and just do like a big like tour of Europe. I think that, that could be so fun. I apologize for Nala playing with a tennis ball in the background. Hopefully that's not too, too distracting for you guys. Um, but yes, those were some of the like big questions that I got. Um, I also got a question from one of my coworkers asking if she was my favorite. So uh, Leanne, yes, you're my favorite. If you're watching this, I don't know if very many of my coworkers even know that I do YouTube unless they follow me on Instagram and I figured it out. But Leanne, you're my favorite if you're watching. <laughs> um, but I, yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna finish chopping up this pepper and then take you guys along with me for the next step. These are types of videos that you guys like watching and you want to see me do more of them definitely let me know let me know if you want to see me make one of my own recipes or if you want to see me try a recipe or if you want to see me do more like home chef hello fresh kind of meals and what you want to me to talk about do you want me to theme them around something like do we want to do like a mental health chat or like a chat all about nursing like what do you guys want to see from me if you like videos like this because obviously i want to make content that you guys want to watch um, but now all of my produce is done so next i'm going to actually make the meatloafs so i'm going to roll up my sleeves for this one and get my mixing bowl i'm also just going to take off my watch um, and then i'm going to combine this ground turkey I'm just gonna use my knife to cut it open. Like I said, I am not sponsored in any way from Home Chef, but something that I really like about Home Chef is you can customize the meats and the proteins of your meals. So like this was ground turkey meatloaf, that's what it was designed to be. But if I didn't like ground turkey for whatever reason, or I wanted to do it with a different meat, I had that option. So I really, really appreciate that about Home Chef specifically. And then now to the ground beef, I am going to do half of the crema. Came with two packages, so that makes it really easy for me to figure out what half is. There's half of the cheese, but the other half is for garnish. So I'm just gonna do the whole bag of cheese because I won't need to garnish with any of it. I'd rather have it in the meatloaf. And it says pinko breadcrumbs. And then half of the seasoning, which again, it came with two packages, which makes it super easy because then I can just open one and I know that that's half. Okay, and then it just says to form into two evenly sized oval shave shaped loaves and put them on the other half of the baking sheet with the potatoes. So let's mix this up. All right, all of the next steps are over at the oven. So I'm going to put this mixing bowl in the dishwasher, grab a pan, and then move you guys over to the oven. Again, I'm sorry for kind of the weird angle, but I have my two meatloaves over here. I'm just gonna sprinkle, or not sprinkle, drizzle some olive oil on top of the potatoes. And it says just to use some salt, but what I'm gonna do is use my rosemary sea salt. That is my favorite, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on top, and then this is ready to go into the oven. And while this is in the oven, I'm gonna start on the vegetables. And these go for 22 to 26 minutes, so I'm gonna put it in for 24 just to kind of meet in the middle and then i'm going to start to heat up this pan for the veggies so this the veggies are going to go at medium high heat um, with a little bit of olive oil these olive oil bottles by the way off of amazon are like one of my favorite purchases from 2021 let me know if you want to see a video of that of my favorite purchases of the year because I think that could be really fun but I'm just gonna let this pan warm up for a second and then we're gonna add in the peppers and everything and I um, I'm super excited for all these veggies it's peppers and corn and all of this so I think it's gonna be super super yummy but while I'm waiting for this pan to heat up I did just kind of want to give a quick little life update um, I mentioned earlier in the video that I am six months in to my nursing job and I really am enjoying it a lot. Um, I was very, very, very nervous <laughs> about starting a nursing job in an entirely different state in my mid twenties and how that would be making friends and just kind of the social aspects of it more than anything. Um, and I'm definitely kind of starting to find my groove with friends and a social life, which is really refreshing and like 
nice to um, kind of have that starting. I was really kind of a little bit lonely there for a second, to be totally candid. And I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna make friends here, but I definitely am starting to kind of find my little group of people down here. All of the new grads along with me are super nice and they've all been so kind and friendly to me, even though I'm a little bit older than some of them, only by like a year or two for the most part, but it's still nice to be included in all of that. Um, Nala is doing really well. Her birthday is next week. Um, I ordered her a birthday bandana, but I think it's going to get here a little bit too late, unfortunately, because I waited so long to order it, but I can always take a picture of her with it later. But this pan is definitely heating up already, so I'm going to come toss in the veggies. So it's just the peppers for now, and then I'm going to mix in some of that hot sauce and the seasoning blend that came with it. The limes are for later, so we're going to add those in, and then let me get the hot sauce. Now it says to do the hot sauce to taste, but I love spicy and this is Chalua hot sauce. So we are doing both packets of that for sure. I'm gonna add this other seasoning packet in. anyone else find it super relaxing to like watch people cook and bake and all this stuff I find it like so soothing so hopefully some of you guys are feeling nice and relaxed and soothed from this as well so the next step is to add in the corn so I'm going to do that and then the step after that is actually to add the potatoes in so once I kind of mix in all the corn I'm going to take this off the heat because my potatoes still have 15 more minutes and then in 15 minutes when the potatoes are done, I will add them back into this pan. Meatloaves and potatoes are out of the oven. I did cut in to the one meatloaf just to make sure that it is cooked, but it's time to transfer the potatoes over here and finish cooking up the little hash that goes with it. So to make the little crema that you're supposed to top it with, I just got my teeny tiny little mixing bowl here. I'm going to add the crema and then we're just adding some lime juice and kind of mixing it together. And then that's what we're going to top the um, meatloaves with. So I'm just going to do that really quickly while the potatoes warm up with the rest of the veggies. And then we'll be all done. All right guys, here is the final product. I'm do a quick taste test, although it's still super, super hot. And then we'll be done with this video. Mmm. Wow. That's actually like so, ugh, the word that I hate, but moist. Wow. Wow. Nala is sitting by my feet waiting for some of this, but girl, this is all mine. So that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!